In order to extend their rule over India, the British brought in policies of subsidiary alliance and doctrine of lapse. As a result numerous states became part of the British Empire. This made many Indians unhappy. People were also upset with the administration of the British. This unhappiness erupted in the form of a major protest against the British in 1857. Many of the Indian historians term this as first Indian freedom struggle. But, the English historians termed it as the Sepoy Mutiny. Reasons for the first Indian freedom struggle Due to the doctrine of lapse implemented by the British, many Indians' kings had to lose their kingdoms. As a result of this policy, Sitara, Jaipur, Jansi, Udaipur and many other states became part of the British Empire. Carnatic Nawab Dalhousie abolished the kingships of Tanjavur and Carnatic Nawabs. The British dethroned Mughal kings and many other kings. As a result, many soldiers depended on these kings became unemployed. This became the main reason for the protest against the British. Due to the development of industrialization in England, the Indian handicrafts and industries diminished. England apart from being an industrialized country became a workshop of industries. The artisans of India became unemployed. The weavers became the first victims as were land. Cloth making industries suffered a lot. The British the levied high levy customs, high customs, customs Indian on goods Indian entering goods entering the market, entering the market, of, market England. of England. Due Zaminder system, the farmers were exploited by Zaminders. Land tax collection rights 58 worded to Talukiders were withdrawn. By forming Inam commissions, Inam lands were also withdrawn. As a result, the farmers had to undergo lot of economic hardships and felt insulted. As a result, the farmers had to undergo lot of economic hardships and felt insulted. Hence, the farmers also protested all these. 